Hello everybody, this is Tim Brzezinski. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use the Base 10 Blocks tool within the iReady Math Curriculum. It can be found in the Digital Math Tools section of the Teacher Toolbox. And students have access to it too, so let's open it up and see how this, uh, this tool works. It's pretty slick, I like it. So we have three different colors, right? And I think the pictures are pretty self-explanatory. You got your hundreds, your tens, your ones. And uh, click on a, if you click on a, a tile, you can uh, show, you could bring it out here or you could drag it out if you wish. All right. But um, you could also opt to show the value simultaneously, the numerical value. So here, a 100, 200, so students can make uh, connections between, you know, a concrete, you know, to see, to see the actual pictorial versus in, in the numeric representation. All right. So 250 and then four. You can actually take, uh, you can actually uh, group everything if you click drag a mouse around it, make a box around everything, and you can then drag it to where you want, make it really nice. We have 328 children, so 100, ooh, we're adding already, look at that, 200, right, 300. Now, I'm making it messy on purpose. For those of you um, that this is bothering, don't worry, we'll fix that in just one second, 320. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now watch this. This, I love this tool right here. This will clean it up. What do I mean? Whoa, look at that. That's nice, right? So now we can add our hundreds, we can add our tens, we can add our ones pretty darn quickly, right? So we have 500, looks like 70, but then now what about this? All right, look at that. There's, there's more than a 10 there, isn't there? There certainly is, but if you highlight a box around all that, you can actually hit this uh, make 10 bar, group it there if you will, and see that. Oh, and now we can go ahead and hit that button to clean up. Looky there, ho oh, ho, look how nice that is. So what do we have, 582 it looks like. All right, and the students see it. Now, I, wouldn't, I would not recommend showing this to students, but right here, if you, could, if you uh, hit that arrow right there, it'll show this some. All right, so, but maybe we don't want that, you do, but you know, if they don't need it, why give it to them? Right, so that's how you could use this tool here to show uh, to regroup, and you know, especially for students with organizational issues, this is a powerful tool to use. Really cool. All right, um, but right here, let's take a look at um, this one. That was two, three here. All right, we could also use this to group tens. Right, same same kind of principle. Um, let me just refresh and start over. So we have four hundred seventy six, four hundred three, four, five, six, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have 148, 100, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could show it, right? Look at that. And now I'll clean it up. But now see here, we have, um, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens already, right? So if we actually opt to clean this up, we can actually kind of group it. See, it'll make a hundred out of that, which is kind of nice. And we can clean this up right here. We could uh, group them, make a 10, if you will, right? So students could see this. Oh, wow, we have, what do we have? Now we can clean all this up by hitting that clean up button up here. That's what I just did. Organize it pretty nicely. We have 600 and what, 24? And we could see it by clicking that arrow right there. Okay, pretty nice. All right, and you can always erase your work by hitting the reset button here. Okay, let's take a look at subtraction. All right, 450 campers. We have 450 campers at Camp Cody. One day, 218 campers do our projects. Everybody else is doing sports, so how many campers do sports? So let's get 450 up here. 200, we can show the number. 400. There we go. Hit this button here to, with this button here to organize it nice. And now I want to subtract 218. So how are we going to do that? Well, I mean, the, the 200 part is easy, right? We could just drag this down here. See, minus 100. You just drag the tiles down below to see what you want to subtract. 200, right? But now we have to drag down 18. So there's 10. Ooh, but I got to drag, I got to drag 8. How do I break apart a 10 to make 8? Well, it's the same way we form 10. We can decompose it right here, break it up, highlight it and hit this arrow right, hit this button right here, it'll actually, um, it'll break it up. So now we could break up that 10, the 10 ones, and now we could take one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. I think we might be able to just highlight everything, right? And just kind of drag it down like that. See what I mean? And now we can see what remains, 100, 200. We can organize this nice, right? And we have 232, it looks like. And if you hit this circle right here, you got it.